Okay, going to explain to you why and how Matthew chapter 24 is not talking about the rapture. Because post-tribbers will use Matthew chapter 24 to prove their heretical post-trib rapture heresy. And I'm going to show you that Matthew chapter 24 has nothing to do with the rapture, falsely so called. The proper term is the catching up of the body of Christ or the resurrection. You know, those are the proper terms, not rapture. So here's how here's how Matthew chapter 24 is not talking about the rapture. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 to 54, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14 to 18, there is a mention of dead saints being resurrected and going up before the living saints. See 1 Corinthians 15, 52, and 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. There is zero mention of dead saints being resurrected in Matthew chapter 24. Not one mention of it. In 1 Corinthians 15, 52, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, there is a mention of the trump of God, or God speaking with his voice like a trump. There is zero mention of this in Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24 mentions great signs. Matthew chapter 24, verse 30, Matthew chapter 24, verse 3, and Matthew chapter 24, verse 24, appearing before the coming of Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22 says the Jews require a sign. The time of Jacob's trouble is clearly for the Jewish people. There is zero mention of any great signs mentioned in 1 Corinthians 15, 51 to 54, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14 to 18. Not one mention. So they're not talking about the same event. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, both mention dead saints, mention the trump of God, and don't mention signs, great signs appearing. Matthew chapter 24 has no mention of dead saints rising or the trump of God, but it does mention great signs. They're not talking about the same event. They're clearly talking about two different events. So don't be deceived when post-tribbers try to use Matthew chapter 24 to prove their heretical post-trib rapture heresy. Don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.